Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here, and today we're making French fry onions. You know those things they sprinkle over casseroles during the holidays? We're gonna make a home version of that. So let's do what we do. Let's head to the kitchen and make it happen. Okay, I'm using our slicer here to get our onions nice and thin. If you decide to slice these with a knife, go for as thin as possible while holding on to your digits. Also, if you're using a slicer or a madeleine, use the grip thingy thing for safety. I be breaking all the rules up in here because I'm a rubble like that. Also, I can't find it. I'm gonna break these boys up just like so. We're gonna give them a bath and some buttermilk and let them relax for about an hour and a half. The buttermilk gives them a nice rounded flavor. I wouldn't skip this step, cookaholics. Let's make sure that they are getting all of that buttermilk love. I'm taking a spoon and stirring them around and dunking them, making sure everything is really well covered. And let's slide on a plate to seal the deal. We're gonna slide these in the refrigerator. We're tossing in some seasoned salt, and we're gonna add some black pepper. Now we're gonna mix this stuff over the fork. You can add some cayenne pepper if you feeling like turning up the heat. We're keeping it mild today. Our flour mixture is now ready. We've got some oil in a pot over medium heat, and we want our temperature at 375 degrees when we start frying. I'm always going on about frying at a lower temperature for some stuff, but not for these. When you start, it should be 375 degrees. We're dipping and frying these boys in batches because, as always, we don't want to overcrowd the pan. These guys don't take long to cook, so we don't want to be walking away. Also, we're going to stir these guys around a bit with our slider spoon so things brown evenly. We have our plate lined with paper towel waiting for us and put them out of the hot oil. Yo, we could have just went as easily with a cooling rack. Hey, you can check for salt here. Check the seasoning, see if you need a little more salt. If you do, just sprinkle some salt lightly over the top and you good to go. And that's all it is to it. Hey guys, I hope you like that. All my links to my social media is in the box section below. And if you want to check out my last video, you can do so right over there. Let's taste this stuff. These French fried onions are crispy. They have just the perfect amount of salt on them. They're very flavorful. Hope you guys give this one a try. All right. Share my videos and Chef Kendra is out. Peace.